We are outside of the dog park and I wanna show you how I would socialize my puppy without going inside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Wimberly and I'm gonna go up to the side of the fence. She can still have the same interactions through the fence without me having to worry if the dog on the other side does anything or puts her in a situation that is gonna make her uncomfortable or have a bad experience. I have my food. I can intermittently reward her when she's on the fence. I can watch and see if she needs some space, I can back up from the fence. <laughs> I encourage dogs to come over to the fence and when they do, hi puppy, I will get excited and show my dog that I am excited to see other dogs. I keep my leash loose. I love the perimeter of the fence because I can learn and read my dog's body language. Like, hey, who's that? Who's that? So I'm watching her, her tail's wagging. She did the same thing with the first dog where she kind of sits and shows her stomach. Say, Otis is about to probably try to start taking some laps. Oh! This is his, uh, I guess Hi. his cork. Yeah. He tries to get out of the dog. To run. To run Hi, Otis. Nice to meet you, buddy. Who is this? This is Wimberly. So, she is yeah. so beautiful. She's a you little Otis puppy. Stanley. We're just trying to have her first little experience Aww. here at the dog park. That's so exciting. They yes. Make some new friends. Exactly. All different sizes and breeds and ages. <clears throat> Who is this one? This is Wimberly. Wimberly's a puppy puppy. She is a puppy. Uh, so she is just over four months. She just got all her shots, okay. so she's ready to explore. Are you bringing her in? No, we're going to do from the outside of the, the okay. fence here. That's fine. Let's have more of a controlled little play group here. Yeah, I got it. I got <laughs> hey there. Wimberly, look. I train him. I figured I'd help you out. Yeah, thank you. Who oh, is it? Is it a baby? She's making all sorts of friends today. It's just a baby. Oh my God, I know. What a cute. Okay, hey. I know you want to see him. <laughs> I know you want to see him, huh? Come on, Jack. Come on. Say hi. Give him lickies. Good girl, mate. Let's go for a walk. Oh, what a sweetie. Thank you. So that was cool. I got a little bit of a dog socialization and a person socialization. Notice when she was, the woman's voice was elevating that Wimberly started, you know, jumping up on the fence. I will discourage that. Um, even it's, it's important. You want to stay consistent. If you don't want her jumping, it doesn't matter if it's a stranger or you or family. Uh, the correction is always going to be the same. So when she jumped, I lift up on the collar and I didn't allow her to continue to engage with the woman or be pet when she's up in the air. This looks like a solid group in here uh, of, of just happy, friendly dogs. But even then, I just would never risk it. I, I see so many times like people, no ma'am, no ma'am. People will walk in and then all of the dogs charge the front where, where the puppy's walking in. I just couldn't imagine how overwhelming that would be for the puppy. Of course, you know, they adapt and, and once they get in here and they start running around, they have fun and they kind of forget about that moment. But I just don't, would never put her in a situation where she could get charged by a bunch of dogs she panics, she runs, next thing you know she's getting chased by a dog and she's getting ran over by a dog. I mean, that's a, that's a horrible experience that I'm not willing to risk. I support play groups. And if you are going to go to a dog park, I support going on the outside and just hanging out just like this. This to me is a better experience and a less risky one for the dog than going inside. Some of the biggest pushback I get when I make these type of videos with the dog on the outside of the fence is, why would you go all the way to a dog park and not allow them to go in there and play? Play groups and free play to me are when I assign specific dogs that I know and put them together and then allow them to free play. It is not walking into the unknown and hoping everything goes in a good manner 
which a lot of times when you see, especially when there's a bunch of dogs in here, it ends up not going that way.